Hey everyone, it's Martine Williams, a Senior Executive Director and a member of our Leadership Values Board. And every month, as you know, we um, have women nominate other women and leaders in the company that are exemplifying our core values. And this month we are honoring the value of passionate, which is despite the obstacles you may face, you still act heart and desire. And so I, the nomination process for me is always like bittersweet. I love seeing all the stories of all of the women that you nominate that you see that are living out these values, but then narrowing it down to like the one um, is always because I'm an includer. That is one of my strengths is I'm an includer. So it's really hard to leave anybody out, but I'm so excited to announce that Tara um, is our honoree this month for the value of passionate. And I know Tara personally have kind of gotten to know each other over the last year or two. And so I can say that I've seen this lived out in her own life, but just a little bit about Tara. She is an executive, uh, is it a director with 31 for five and a half years. She's been with the company about almost seven years. What month did you say is your anniversary? July. 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 So in July, it'll be seven years. And so Tara, I'm so excited for you and honored um, to, you know, have you up as this nominee for the passionate values. So I just asked Tara to kind of share a little bit about why the passionate value is something that is near and dear to her heart and also just some specific ways that um, she's living it out. So I cannot wait to hear what you have to say, Tara. Well, thank you, friend. Um, and thank you for almost giving me the executive director promotion. That's pretty cool. <laughs> now where that came from. <laughs> I like it. You're like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Double promotion. Yes. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, so yes, thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate it, especially coming from you, Martine. Um, you're definitely somebody who I have always looked up to and admired, um, especially for this specific value. So that's really kind of humbling to me. So thank you so much. And thank you to all of the other girls that um, saw this in me and felt the need to nominate me. So I appreciate that so much. Um, yes, you're right. Like. Um, I'm extremely passionate. I have a very excited like love for life. I love all the people around me. Um, I love what I do. I love um, my business. Um, I love to serve others. I love to give back. So um, if we don't know each other, I will just share briefly about myself. Um, like Martine said, I'm a director. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been with the company for six and a half years and a director for five and a half of that. I am also a firewife. I am a Girl Scout leader. I am a homeschool teacher. I am a 31 leader and I am a current Gives Care Council sister. So um, the majority of time that I wear all of my amazing hats, I pretty much do it 90% of the time alone. Um, my husband's job obviously takes him away from the house often and for long, long stretches of time. So um, the fact that I love to um, wake up with desire to just pour all into all of those different facets of my life, um, it's just who I am. Mm -hmm. Like I just truly, you know, God said, love one another, I do it. God said, serve others, I do it. And I do it with my whole heart. And um, so that's why I think being nominated for passionate is, is really um, great for me because it's just something that I do naturally. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's really no part of my life bubble that I, I don't desire to work in. Um, I still get tired. I still get run down. I still have bad days. But, you know, there's, um, there's something my uh, national executive director, Jennifer Paslakis, always says, you know, that fire in your belly, that's what she calls it, that fire in your belly. I wake up every morning with that fire in my belly, whether it's because I have a homeschool day with my daughter or um, a Girl Scout meeting or Girl Scout cookies or a day to work with my fire wives on something, um, my Gifts Care Council sisters, my 31 business. Um, it's just a way to live and um, you know, I'm very passionate about my husband's career as a firefighter. Um, like I had mentioned with my fire wives, we have really kind of built a tight knit community within our, our fire family um, so that we are able to help one another in times of need. We're also able to help um, our community 
we're there to advocate and help bring awareness to the mental health needs of our first responders. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I'm really passionate about that um, in my, with my fire hat. Um, mm -hmm. My Girl Scout troop, yeah. my girl leaders, they are going to change the world. I have 13 little girls that are in my troop that I've had since they were in kindergarten and they're going to be going into middle school. And they're all at that pivotal nine, 10 year old age right now where my village, my, my family of Girl Scout um, troop parents, um, we are really advocating to keep these girls um, in the right direction. And we want them to know that they can go out and do amazing things for their, their um, communities, that they can, you know, be life changers. And, you know, when I think of them, it's just, again, it, it just drives me, it fuels me. It really, really fuels me, you know, and um, obviously my business, you know, my 31 business, I'm extremely passionate about what I do. And I love Cindy for creating such a fantastic company that really brings together that um, fun, you know, bag that we sell, but it also brings a way to change lives and just having a chance to really bring those together. Um, it's great that I can share that with my customers, that we all get to share that, um, that we get a chance to lead our teams like that. I mean, I'm very much a heart-led leader. If, if there's anybody on my team or any of my accountability girls, my care council sisters, anybody you know, I'm, I lead from the heart. I mean, we did the Enneagram at Leadership Summit and I'm very much a two. I'm a two, I'm a two, I'm a two. So shout out to all my twos. <laughs> um, so um, it's just, you know, when you find your passion, whether it's in life or when you find your passion in your business, it stirs your soul. Like right. it gives you that running start that you need every single day. So, I mean, if you're watching and you're really not sure about your passion, um, I'm going to tell you, um, people with great passion, like make things happen. They just really find that thing or those, those many things, um, that just make them feel alive. Mm -hmm. So if you're kind of needing that or searching for that or restarting your business or you're in your, in a stage of life, I want you to kind of think about those things and maybe search, you know, dig a little deeper, find what those things are and tap into them because that's where you're going to find mm -hmm. your drive to really just move, you right. know? Um, yeah. And like I said, you know, I am really um, honored and grateful for Wendy Bradshaw for actually, you know, choosing me to be a part of our Gives Care Council. Um, the women I stand beside, I mean, they are extraordinary extraordinary leaders and they have the biggest servant hearts of anybody I've known. And so it's amazing what we get to do with our um, philanthropic side, you know, 31 gives and our roundup program. It's extraordinary to know how we as 31 consultants can give back mm -hmm. to our communities or give back to our local um dance studios or do something incredible like go serve at a Ronald McDonald's house. Um, but just being able to share about our roundup, something as simple as our roundup, it can drive so much passion in other people, in customers, in their hostesses. Um, it generates conversation and questions. And I mean, how fun would it be to, you know, be able to take your team and go do a serve night at a Ronald McDonald house or, you know, to, to really bring some, you know, give backs to your local NICU unit, um, like so many of us do. Um, those round of dollars that are, you know, that we're working towards right now, it's for our, um, you know, those who serve our country and community. That is me. Like, I am so, so passionate about that. That's my baby. And I mean, I, I think it's just amazing because these people out there, in the military, in our first responders world, you know, they put their life on the line and they just go and that's what they do and they want to. This is a very small way for us to share that with our communities at our parties and just say, you know what? They do this for us, let's do this for them. And believe it or not, like if, if some of you are not on the Be The Give page, I would love for you to join it so that you can be um, 
in the know about where our roundup dollars are going and how much we actually are able to do. So like, you know, we, we get um, to look at um, our future spring and summer here very, very soon. And that's going to be an extraordinary cadence that we get to be a part of as well. So um, I really just think, you know, if, like I said before, if, if, if you're not in a place where something like this truly, truly excites you, take some time to work on yourself. Um, you know, Martine's really good at pulling that kind of stuff out of me. So <laughs> her and I talk a lot and, um, you know, I just have to say, like, I got a shout out to you. Like you have always, you, I'm your choose you. Like I, it makes me really stay true to myself and what fuels my passion. Um, and that's just really, you know, that's me. Well, thank you, Tara, for that <laughs> shout out and encouragement to me. And I think, you know, as I thought about the, the hats and the roles that you talked about, you know, the um, first responders, you know, wife and the, the homeschool, like all of those, there's obstacles in every single one of those. But yes. what people see in you is that despite all of those, you know, you do act with heart and passion. And it's not, you know, passionate is not just something that you do. It's who you are. And people notice that. And so I'm so glad that you were able to be encouraged in that way and to be celebrated in that way because you know that's what we do with this cup it's our mission is to celebrate encourage and reward so thank you so much for sharing your story and um i'm just congratulations we are so excited that you are the passionate you. 